Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is John Jamison with Perpetual Wealth Systems. Today I want to talk to you about a broke personal finance model that 99% of you are following. And I know this because I deal with clients from all over the country and it's the same business model I was following. I talk about this business model extensively in my book, but I want to tell you about it, what it is right here on this video. All right, here's the way it works. Here's the way we've been taught since we were five years old how money works. We've been taught that money comes into our life over our lifetime. Okay, so this is our pool of money over years. Now, we're taught that, look, put 10% of everything you make away. So take 10%, move it over here, and put it inside a retirement account. What would your retirement account going to be? More than likely, if you're taught like everybody else, it's going to be a 401k. We have a whole video on 401ks and why they're a miserable place to, to grow money and why they're even a worse place to try to retire out of. And they, you know, they're called retirement accounts or an atrocious place to retire out of. But let's just say you do that and you put 10% away. Now, first of all, let's talk reality. The average savings rate in this country right now is about 4%. So you're only putting away four cents out of every dollar. You're not even putting away the dime out of the dollar. All right, but let's just say you are able to put 10% away. <clears throat> okay? And the average American will make a little over $2 million over their lifetime. Some much more, some much less. But over a working lifetime, you're going to put away about $200,000. So if you'll make $2 million, you should have $200,000 over here. And of course, they're going to give you projections that, hey, if the market, because you're going to put your money in mutual funds, and if the market does this, your money's going to go up, and you're going to have $500,000 to help you retire on. Now, it all sounds rosy, but first of all, as we said, you're never going to put the 200000 in the average American. You're going to put far less than that, less than half, and you're assuming your money is going to go from 200000 to 500000 Those are huge assumptions because when you put money inside of a mutual fund, you get what's known as average rate of return. Now, we talk about what a sucker's bet an average rate of return is and why we're so busy chasing rates of return that we don't understand what's draining the money out of our life. Here's what's draining the money out of our life. Number one taxes on the money coming in. We show people how to legally reduce, dramatically reduce the amount of money they have to pay out in taxes. So they therefore automatically give themselves a pay raise. That's number one. Big wealth drain taxes. We show you how to stop those or at least minimize them. Here's a huge wealth drain. Money paid out over your lifetime on things like your house, your car, your spouse's car, Credit cards, okay? How about if you business owners, those are guys getting into business. How about business loans? How about student loans for all you college graduates out there that are carrying massive student debts, just past $1 trillion in this country? Guys, when you're getting most of, a lot of your money left, left in taxes, and now what's going here, you're paying out all this stuff, is it any wonder that you're only able to put away 4%? Many of you guys aren't even doing that. And I'm not here to chastise you or laugh at anybody because I've been to the top of the mountain and I've been under the mountain. And I've learned a lot during that time, which is why I've made it my mission that I want to show people that this business model does not benefit you. It benefits Wall Street because almost all of your money is going into Wall Street vehicles. When your money goes into mutual funds, that's where it goes inside the stock market. So the money managers love it. The whole Wall Street system loves it. They've gotten stinking filthy rich on this business model over the last 40 years. Right? The banks love it because when you're borrowing all this money, you're making payments every month. I've done this before. If you haven't seen it though, it's worth doing now. Add up all the payments you've paid out in your lifetime. Okay? Times that number by two. And I mean on everything. On cars, boats, real estate. Times that number by two. Whatever figure that is, compare it to the amount of money you have saved over here in your retirement vehicle and simply ask yourself, which number is bigger? Which number is bigger? This number over here is massive. This number over here is small. So who's getting rich in that business model? I'll tell you, Wall Street and the banks. Because see guys, another huge wealth drain that nobody talks about is depreciation on all these things you bought. Now, hopefully your house appreciated, although we just went through a period of huge deflationary times in real estate. We might have some more to go. A lot of people are predicting that we're going to have more deflationary times, even though now we've had a bounce. So maybe your real estate goes up in value, maybe it doesn't, but all this other stuff goes down in value from day one and you lose massive amounts of money. It's called depreciation on assets. See guys, when you practice the perpetual wealth system strategies, we actually show you how to make money on cars. 
how to ch stop chasing returns inside a stock market that you're never going to get because it's designed for you not to get it. Think about it, guys. For the stock market to go up, what people who are managing your money are doing, they're trying to predict the future of what companies are going to do. So they're looking at their crystal ball and are they going to make earnings. And have you ever seen um, an earnings report come out on a big company, let's just say IBM, and they're supposed to make 23 cents a share. They only make 21 cents a share. They make billions of dollars and yet the stock market, the stock, their stock tanked. Because the stock price has already built into it the future of the company. And when you don't meet those expectations, that's when you ride this up and down, this average rate of return that we talk about extensively in this book. So the better business model is why don't we not put our money in here? Why don't we put it inside a vehicle that we can use over time to fund these things ourselves and create payments instead of going payments back to the bank? How about the payments come back to us? This is what I do every month. I cut myself thousands of dollars of payments every month on cars, business loans, but you know what? I don't pay it out to the bank. I pay my own personal financing vehicle that I set up inside of a properly designed structure that we talk about in the book and all kinds of other videos that we shot here. And so look at all that money that I'm recapturing systematically month after month after month. I don't really care what the stock market's doing. But most of you have your wealth tied up inside 401s and mutual funds. It's a broke business model. The perpetual wealth business model makes sense. It's systematic. It's automatic. And it's a better way to go.